A taste of the Tour de France, but in June, one month to the start of the Grande Boucle, the Dauphiné is a sort of full-scale rehearsal for the peloton's main contenders. It allows them to take their marks on some mountainous roads the Tour de France will propose. Christopher Froome, Jean-Christophe Perrault, Romain Bardet or Vincenzo Nibali, here are some of the favourites to the victory in Modane Valfréjus. The first stage took the riders today from Eugene to Albertville, with laps on a final 80-kilometre section. Five times they had to pass the Côte de Villars, a 1.2 km climb but at 8.7% gradient. A group of four men took off in the start of the race, Bjorn Turo, Daniel Tecleimanot, Romain Guibois and Martin Winans. The escapees took their advantage to over seven minutes, but in the peloton the sprinters teams didn't want to let this stage success opportunity vanish. They took the chase in hands. Tecle Manat and Turo dropped their companions in the penultimate ascent of the Villar Pass, but Turo was the only one to survive the peloton's comeback. A counter-attack led by five men managed to catch him three kilometers to the finish line. The pack lacked of coordination and therefore it failed to swallow the group from which Peter Kennock escaped. The champion of Great Britain from Team Sky was only 10 seconds clear. At the Flamme Rouge, he stormed to the finish line ahead of sprinters Modolo and Edvard Wassenhagen. It's a success built up in two steps by Peter Kinnock, the British road race champion. First, he came closer in a counter-attack group, then he broke off and resisted the pack tracking him. The former Olympic and world champion in team pursuit, alongside Geraint Thomas, his Team Sky teammate, takes home his second stage from a major race, time trials accepted. Last year, he won the Tour of Austria after grabbing the first stage. Could it be a sign? Every, every single rider wants to be at the front and all the big GC contenders, they're always worried about losing time. So it makes for a really hard race because everyone wants to be at the front all the time. It makes the climbs very hard and leaves the race open and exciting for finishes like that. I didn't expect to win, but um, over the moon. Peter Kennock hits two birds with one stone. With this stage success in Albertville, he also reaches the top of the GC. One of the favorites to the event's win, Alejandro Valverde, signs a nice eighth place. Thanks to the bonuses, Kennock stands six seconds clear from Modolo, eight from Boissonagen, and the rest of the peloton is 12 seconds adrift. The mountaintop of landscape we had today will be on the menu tomorrow again with a stage two of the Dauphiné taking the riders on the Col de Cuvery. It's 100 kilometers away from the finish line, so the sprinters should get a second chance in Villars-les-Dombes.